Hello mates, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing Build Battle and I have choose Forest but it is pickaxe. Yes, I'm making a pickaxe today. We will see if my pickaxe will win Build Battle. We will see. So right now I am thinking of what to do for a pickaxe and First thing I thought, it's not actually a pickaxe. I thought of making the, um, you know, the, the things that you get from a pickaxe, right? So that's what I am going to do right now, just um, making the, the stone to mine. And that's what I'm going to make right now, just making a good enough, you know, believable um, stone. With many, 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 uh, um, you know, things, and hopefully it will look good. <laughs> and um, that's what I'm doing. Then after that, I'm gonna make a pickaxe. So what I'm thinking of doing is to make the um, make the stone with the ores that will be in with the coal, iron, gold, diamond, and ruby. Those are gonna be onto this stone right and then after i made you know the decoration for the stone and everything else i'm gonna make the um i'm gonna make the impact where the pickaxe hit the stone and you can see the actual stone big part a little bit so that's what i'm planning to do i'm planning to make the stone make the decoration into the stone Make the stone look like you got hit by a pickaxe. Make the pickaxe. Then that's it. That's my plan. So right now I'm just making the stone right now. And I'm doing a technique called adding on to the stone. So what that is, is just make the, the stone, the, the shape of it, the wolf shape of it. And then add in a detail later on into it. That's what I do sometimes for some things. I would just make... A basic shape and then add on the detail say I need to make a curve make a squirrel on how big I want it then actually make the actual circle turn the square into the circle yeah that's what I'm doing here not turning a stone into a circle is turning stone into a battle stone <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now right now I'm making the impact will the pickaxe will hit the actual stone and show the impact where it does hit the stone and right now just filling up the um the inside of the stone because it is hollow so right now I'm trying to make sure just to have the the stone you know because it's not supposed to be hollow there needs to be something inside of the stone so soon I will make the um put the ores into the stone when I was doing a little bit of a shape making sure the, the actual impact look believable look more random and believable so after that I'm doing a little more detail on the outside of the stone making it a little more random because right now it's a bit too man-made like someone making it so right now I'm just trying to go random go wild and just see how can I turn this a little bit believable um man-made stone into a natural nature stone that came out of snail wild you know just just doing something that's not that doesn't seem like i made it so that's what i'm doing right now and it looks pretty good right now we're just just go wild, that's just my plan, just go wild, now we think about it, just do it. Then after that, I'm going to change the floor real quick, I'm going to change it to grass, to have a different color from it, to really have that contrast, so it really could pop out the stone, you can see the stone really now pop out, because the floor is now green, and stone looks really more popping out. We could, we could really just show stone much more better so right now just putting in the ores right now with redstone 
I would I would um we'll start off just hitting into the stone and just adding adding the ores into the stone but later on I'm just gonna add it all the way around and yeah so right now I'm just doing more of the ores I want the impact to be diamond and all around it just be random right I want the impact of the stone the inside of the stone to be mostly with diamond and some gold and everything else is just wild on the outside so that's what I'm doing right now I'm thinking of some other things I could have done differently but I'm happy how this one out to be so after I did some details on the outside adding the the um, coal, the iron, the diamond, the gold, the redstone out, out in the outside of the stone and that the diamond in the inside of the stone going to make the actual pickaxe. So I went with the classic diamond pickaxe and since I hit the stone diagonally I have to do it diagonally so instead of doing it you know on the side it's not diagonal so it's going to be a little bit tougher for me to make it but it's okay <laughs> so right now I'm trying to make the um the end the one end of the pickaxe and then make the actual pickaxe and then do the other end of the pickaxe and then make the handle so that's what I'm doing right now it's really hard because it's not to the side it's diagonally and it's pretty hard to get something to make something diagonally and it was not my plan <laughs> I don't know why I just do it on the corner but I did it so I was trying to make something believable so just trying to make the edge and have that sharp edge of a pickaxe on the on the end of the pickaxe right now just trying to make that it looks pretty good it looks pretty pretty sharp then after that I'm making the um the handle a little bit since the pickaxe is pretty bright I wanted a a different color to balance out the brightness of the um the pickaxe and the overall build of everything else because the grass is a bit bright still on a little bit bright but the diamond is really bright so I made with this um wood to really bring out and has that contrast of the actual pickaxe so it's not always everything so bright so I think it's look pretty good having a bit more darker wood looks really good and yeah so now we're just making the the handle of the pickaxe and after I make the handle of the pickaxe I'm just do a little bit more detail I have a lot more time left over we'll have two minutes left over so I'm just checking and looking to really make sure that it looks really good usually I will not check and see how it looks sometimes I do it for a build battle but for this time I can I have that much more time to just really take my time with with you know with everything to really make sure it looks really good so right now I'm doing a little more detail to the actual pickaxe so it's a bit more curved than not really cool so I wanna, really want to make sure that it looks believable that it is a pickaxe and it is curving too and another point to that is making the end of it way more cold to really have that C shape of the pickaxe and another thing I wanted to do for this but I just didn't even think of it after I've done the actual pickaxe is to actually have some blocks flying to look like it actually did to work the actual block and having some block having some stone flying out that would have been cool but I just didn't think of that and um I just I just um made it real you just see the after the impact and you see you know the pickaxes hit the um the stone and I wish I could have I think I put too much gold. <laughs> I think I could have put more diamond. I think I put a little bit too much gold. The diamond that was already in the actual stone was covered up by the pickaxe. So I think I should have put more diamond at least around it. I think it will look much more better. But I'm very happy how this turned out. I really like the stone. It looks really much more better than it was before. It was much more better. More random. It looks much better. 
a pickaxe it looks pretty good it could be better though just in a little more detail seeing how it could be and it's just trying to make it look a little more better and that's pretty much it that is my pickaxe hitting the stone and there you go that's mine so let's see who will win let's see if i win guess which pickaxe did i make in big bottle this is number one it's a sword this is number two it's number two it's a diamond pickaxe this is number three number three is another diamond pickaxe this is number four number four is another diamond pickaxe this is number five number five is a diamond axe this is number six number six is a diamond pickaxe this is number seven number seven is a better diamond pickaxe this is number eight number eight is tents in the snow and I made number four yes number four is mine I made number four I think it looks pretty good I made a diamond pickaxe hitting a stone and I did not win a big bottle number three won